This is the Tom Bigby Tales. I'm your host, Shannon Evans. I write about a small town on the Tom Bigby River in Northeast Mississippi called Columbus. And I sometimes write about its people and the outlying communities. And sometimes I write about the rest of Mississippi. Tonight's episode is dedicated to my dear friend, Johnny Hampton Sr., who's not well. I hope you'll pray for him and give him healing grace. This episode is about Roger B. Brown, a Columbus success story. Longtime sportscaster and sports writer Roger Brown died in May of 2020. An outstanding journalist known across the U.S. for his depth of knowledge on sports and all things sports, Brown grew up in Columbus, Mississippi. His childhood best friends included former NFL great Leslie Frazier. Brown grew up in Columbus, and he, like all the other kids in town, played pickup games of football, basketball, and baseball in their neighborhoods. Brown grew up surrounded with a household of brothers and his beloved baby sister, Alicia, his father, a school principal at an all-black school during segregation, and his mother, an English teacher. Roger excelled in sports at the, fam- at the finally integrated S.D. Lee High School. He was such an athletic standout, he would be a two-sport athlete <clears throat> at Tougaloo College in Jackson in baseball and basketball and was an active member of the Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity there. He earned all Gulf South Conference honors in baseball in 1979 and 1981 and in basketball in 1980 and 1981. He would go on after completing his bachelor's in journalism at Tougaloo to earn his master's in journalism at Jackson State University. In 1982, Brown began to seriously pursue his professional career. However, he had actually been a professional journalist since he was 10 years old and and had his father drive him from the baseball park to the dispatch, the local Columbus paper, to turn in that week's box scores from all the baseball games. Brown, early in his profession, did what most journalists did after college. He bounced from place to place, from Louisiana to Georgia to Florida, before moving up the ladder as a young reporter covering everything from Grambling State to the Atlanta Falcons. Finally, in 1987, the Fort Worth Star Telegram would hire Roger B., as his friends called him, Brown, the standout athlete from Columbus, Mississippi, to be their first full-time African-American sports writer. He remained in that position for eight years and eventually was also a sports columnist there as well. At the Star-Telegram, he would cover three Olympics, college football national championships, multiple college basketball and Final Four championships, Super Bowls, Pro Baseball World Series, and the NBA Finals. He left print journalism and the Star-Telegram in 2001 to join radio. This was not a new medium for Brown. He had been broadcasting high school football games for years, as well as color commentating on the Dallas Mavericks show, show with Bradshaw from 1989 to 1995. He also had Talkin' Sports with Roger B. Brown at KKDA from 1990 until 2012. He would join KKDA's morning show as a co-host while serving as the station's sports director as well. Talkin' Sports with Roger B. Brown was not just groundbreaking for Roger. It was groundbreaking for Texas. It was the only African-American sports show in Dallas for most of its 20-year run. His signature, quote, hosted by your Mississippi homeboy, Roger B. Brown, was more than a gimmick to gain listeners. It was who Roger was. He even would feature his English teacher mother on his show, 
when she was in town visiting. Because she was a stickler for grammar, and of course, a Mississippi mama, she did not hesitate correcting him or his grammar on air. He adored his mother, and nowhere was it more obvious than in those on-air moments with her. Roger's death in 2020 sent shockwaves through Dallas, Texas, and Columbus, Mississippi. He was only 61 years old. It was three days after his 61st birthday that he had a stroke and passed away. Dallas uh, School District founded the Roger B. Brown Memorial Baseball Tournament, formerly the Velt Tournament, to honor his memory and all that he did to support, mentor, and sponsor their programs that helped out their mostly underprivileged and underserved students in front of college scouts. Roger B. Brown will be posthumously inducted in the Texas Black Sports Hall of Fame on February 24, 2024. The Hall of Fame, established in 1996, is housed at the African American Museum in Fair Park. It recognizes outstanding Black athletes, coaches, and journalists with connections to Texas and also now to Columbus, Mississippi. Roger B. Brown, your hometown is very proud of you. This is Shannon Evans, and I'm your host of the Tom Bigby Tales. Until next time.